In this video, I will show you how you can use SSL scan on Linux machine to carry out the vulnerability scanning on your internal and external server for the SSL TLS protocol that they are using. This is the Kali machine, Kali Linux. The kernel version is Linux 5.15.0. And at the same time, I have the Rocky Linux 9.4. The kernel version is 5.14.0.4.2.7. For the demonstration purpose, Kali Linux comes with the built-in SSL scan version that I'll show you now. So this is the SSL scan utility version that comes with the Kali Linux 2.0.11. Let me try to show you the Rocky Linux. It does not have the SSL scan installed. You can see there is no SSL scan application. Let me try to show you how you can install the SSL scan on Linux machine, which is going to be Rocky Linux. Same is the command for CentOS. So this command, yum install minus y SSL scan will install the SSL scan utility and post that i'll show you how you can use the ssl scan to carry out the scanning so you can see here the ssl scan version is 2152 on the kali operating system it is 2011 kali linux operating system have the built-in version Let's try to use the SSL scan. You will have to enter the target. For example, let us try to scan the google.com. So this command will scan the Google server for various SSL TLS parameters that they're using. Let us try to analyze the data that we have received. First, it shows the version, open SSL version that it is using, shows uh, to the IP address that we are connected to, testing SSL server, google.com is the host that we have specified, connecting on 443, SNI, google.com. So these are the protocols used on the remote end google.com ssl version 2 disabled ssl version 3 disabled tls 1.0 enabled 1.1 enabled 1.2 enabled 1.3 enabled so you can figure out the versions supported on the remote end server tls fallback scsv Server supported TLS fallback SCSV, TLS negotiation, secure session renegotiation supported, compression is disabled, hard bleed is the vulnerability, TLS 1.3 not vulnerable to hard bleed, 1.2 not vulnerable, 1.1 not vulnerable, 1.0 not vulnerable. Supported cipher. You can go through the supported cipher and the preferred cipher to make sure that the compliance is met before you use any connection going forward. So these are the list of uh, ciphers used by Google and you can check the preferred ciphers as well. For example, TLS 1.3, cipher 128-bit, TLS AES 128-GCM SHA-256. Curve information 25519, curve information 25519, DHE 253. Similarly, you will see the list of preferred and accepted ciphers. Server key exchange group, 
these are the group used by TLS version 1.3, 1.2. Information about the SSL certificate. Signature algorithm is 256 SHA with RSA encryption. ECC key strength 128. This is the subject wildcard entry in the certificate used by google.com wildcard.google.com these are the alternate name that is updated in the server certificate and the validity of the certificate not valid before not valid after you can do the same thing from the rocky linux as well using the command ssl scan and then supplying the host name will give you the information about the ciphers in use versions in use about the certificate deployed on the remote server if you want to know more about this particular command you can type in help to understand better for example you can use the command show certificate to show the certificate information there are various uh, other options available you can use them You can see here the information about the certificate X509 version 3 certificate policies, CRL distribution point for the CRL check for the revocation list, signed certificate timestamp, signature, SSL certificate and to install the SSL scan on Ubuntu machine you can use the command apt install SSL scan that's all in this video I'll try to bring up more videos like this so that you can learn more about the penetration testing please do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button see you in the next video